What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ghost and today I hopped out of the graveyard to go ahead and open up some more of my dual overload case. Um, and yeah, really nothing to it but just to do it, right? So uh, we're gonna go ahead and just start on to the packs. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourself, enjoying your day, you know, nothing negative going on. Um, and you got some good packs. Uh, if you didn't open any packs today, hopefully you won your duel. You know, nothing nothing negative here guys always just remember we try to make profit we try to make smiles we try to have some fun on this channel um yeah so i've been doing pretty good so far uh making decent value on my boxes nothing too crazy i still haven't pulled a high hag and that's speaking of value that's my very first fantastical dragon phantasme i'm gonna put that let's see can you yep i'm gonna put that right there as my very first one i've pulled so far um but yeah like I was saying, you just want to pull value back in these sets. Um, I have yet to pull Kriston, uh Hackle Fibrax, or Needle Fiber as he used to be known. He is the most sought after card in this set, uh, just based off of value and hype. But uh, yeah, um, pulled my first Phantasme. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. And on to the next pack. We've got, wow, three reprints. Mm -hmm. One pack, very nice, very, very nice. Another Alien Shock Trooper, been seeing a lot of him in the last one. Another Malefic Paradox Gear. I have always laughed that they did, and so I played Malefic Skill Drain as one of my mains. Um, and I love Malefic Skill Drain, it's one of my favorite decks. But, unless I'm crazy, because I didn't play the gear before... Did they do Malefic Paradox gear and Malefic Parallel gear? Or am I completely crazy? Like, and then why did they have to make a Parallel and a Paradox gear? Like, what's the difference? I know one is needed for Paradox Dragon, but... Uh, another Kagari, that's the nice alternate art. And wow, there's a lot of, uh... A lot of, um... Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, Link monsters in that one. Another Alien Shock Trooper. Uh, Track Tricks Gen Genlicia? I think I'm saying that right. That's our very first one of her. She's rather short printed too, so I'll put her down there. Another one of the higher value cards in the set. So pretty, pretty cool in that one. Dark Anthem Dragon. I've always, uh, ooh, ooh, Zombie World and Dagger Star Emeralds. I've always been weirded out by seeing the uh, the Link and the uh, Exceeds in one, one kind of set card like that. I don't know, that just kind of always weirded me out. I've actually, I kind of like, not Link, I'm sorry, Pendulum. I kind of like hopped out of the game right as Pendulums were getting big. So, you know, I don't really know anything about them. Nice, Cyber Dragon Infinity reprint, or uh, reprint alternate art. I should say. Um, so yeah, if you guys, if you want to spend the time in the comment section down below, you know, let me know how uh, how that works. Uh, nice, another cybernetic overflow and an anaconda in the same pack. Very very nice. Pulling some good value, guys. That's all you want to do is pull cards that are worth stuff, and I'm. That's the goal, man. Make value back on the box. Cyber Emergency, pretty cool. And a Magic Formula, another one of those cool little reprints. Very surprised that that only got one printing. Surprised, but you know, I'm not going to complain, man. All right, guys, this has been your boy Ghost. I'm going to head back into the graveyard after sleeping some of these cards up. I will catch you guys next time. Peace.